Plaintiff Renee Johnson Little says the defendant has children with her nephew and Renee has helped financially support them. Renee is suing because she bought the defendant's son a cell phone and the defendant smashed it. Defendant Monique Mann says Renee is controlling and meddlesome, and she thinks she can raise Monique's children better than her. Monique insists she forbid Renee from buying her son a cell phone, but Renee went against her wishes, which infuriated Monique. Start with you. I've known Monique a little about 20 years now when her and my nephew were at this trade school in the city of Detroit. Oh, okay. And, Where? Um, I cannot remember. You? It was Detroit Job Corps. Okay. Look, I've spoken and over so, there before. Mm -hmm. I saw that Monique liked my nephew, and I, I explained to her that that was fine, you know, but get your education first. Right. So to make a long story short, they had my great nephew, okay? And um, over the years, I've bought both of her boys flat screen TVs, tablets for school. I didn't just buy them a couple of items. I bought them fall clothes, spring clothes, summer clothes, school clothes. I didn't have to contribute at all, okay. you know, but I did. Yeah. Um, but they don't have the TVs. Monique either pawned them or she got rid of them. Tablets, they don't have them. I had to buy the little one a second bike because when Monique moved, she left their bikes in the house. When she went back to get them, the neighbors were riding their bikes. She was able to get the oldest one bike back, but the youngest one, she wasn't. So she says she- From was, the neighbor? From the neighbor, she'll tell But you. the neighbor just said, I ain't giving it back. That's what she said the lady told her. What wow. part of Detroit? Uh, West Side, Tracy Street. Yeah, they do that around uh. there. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up in, within one mile mm -hmm. zone of that. But you yeah, know that, huh? Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> but your honor, ahead. the oldest boy, both of them are brilliant, okay? But the Good. oldest boy, he just turned 16. Mm -hmm. Now, what amazed me about this child, he was reading with comprehension at two years old, mm, wow. okay? And that's mm. amazing to me. So I was able to get him in cast tech. Good, the best. He scored that. Second only to Renaissance. Uh, you hear what I'm saying? I object that, no. What? You didn't get him in cast tech, oh. sweetheart. I did all that. Not well, he got, got himself in cast. Go I, ahead. I, I oh, yeah, he got, did that, yes, you Your right. Honor, mm -hmm. I'm a former teacher at Detroit Public Schools. I went what down school? and got um, Fleming Elementary, Pulaski, and Cooper Elementary okay. was my first school. So what are you saying in terms of getting him in cast because he had to right, take a test? Well, what I'm saying is I went and got the application. Okay. And okay. gave it to her. You give me some background, ma'am. I met her at the age of 16. She did take me under her wing. She tried to steer me in the direction of definitely um, continuing my education, don't have a baby. Um, she did. Um, but she's just been controlling, meddlesome. She feels as though she can... Um, she can raise my kids better than me. As you can see from her testimony, she, oh, I got my your son into cast. No, yes, you're right. My son took the test. Yes, you did get the paperwork, but I'm the mother. I had to do everything else as far as paperwork <laughs> and going back and forth <laughs> to finish getting him into the school. So all I'm you did laughing was get the because paperwork. everybody in Detroit says they're responsible for me being on television <laughs> or a judge. <laughs> Don't you remember, I went and got you your application for law school when you were still around the corner in undergrad. <laughs> if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't, you're not, you wouldn't say that if, you, if the young man became a judge, would you? You wouldn't say no. I'm responsible for that because I got your application for cash and handed it to you. <laughs> But you all have gotten along fine other than this we, recent? We have. I Good. mean, um, we're very um, blunt and honest with each other, but we've always been able to, um, whether we had differences, we still come together and we were able to still deal with as far as the kids because everything that we do is for the kids. Good. So, Good. Good yeah. to hear. Let me hear from you on the uh, personal property you're suing for. Okay. Um, what happened, Your Honor? Um, I used to pay for Michael a cell phone. I got both of them cell mm -hmm. phones. And uh, back in March, Michael's little brother smashed his cell phone. So Monday morning, August 6th came, and Mike calls. You know, they become teenagers. They call when they want something. 
I said, well, what do you want me to do, Mike? You want me to get your phone? Yes, auntie. Where you at? Yeah, I'm at the library. So I live east, which is the best side of the <laughs> What part of the east side? <laughs> what North part of east, the east? near Hamtramck. Okay. By uh, Lasky Where all the gang violence is, yeah. The best side. <laughs> Go ahead. Best side, people. Anyway, I pick him up. The phone costs $100, but I told him I charge him $55. I say, are you happy, Mike? He said, yeah. I said, all I want you to do is do good in school. So then about an hour later, his dad called, and he tells me Monique's upset that I bought him the phone and this and that. So the next day I call Mike. No answer, I call my nephew, his dad. Did she let him keep the phone? He said, no, she smashed it. I said, what? So I text her, and I, the text is right here. I said, Monique, you owe me $100 for that telephone. She says, text back, I don't owe you S, and if you do it again, I'll you up. So, I'm handicapped, Your Honor. You don't act like Oh, I went ghetto. You I went her. ghetto. What'd you do? I let her know. <laughs> I Does said, I sold her to. She carries gun. Oh, she I, has told, a gun. I told her to name the time and place <laughs> that her kids will not have a mother, that? that I will take <laughs> these 38 bullets and put in her butt. I told her, you don't threaten me. You threaten your mama, but you don't threaten me. I say, you so bad. Name the time and place. And I gave her permission to take it to the police station. I said, you, can t you do not threaten me. You have, uh, you said I came She got blocked, text. Your Honor, so whatever she sent, I don't even have. I blocked her that same day. I don't have time Good. for foolishness from old people. Good. I do not. I'm, I'm See glad how disrespectful did. she is? You're you disrespectful. Are. You didn't listen to me as a mother when I told you not to purchase the phone in the first place. Okay, so, so you purchased you it and gave it to her son. She didn't tell me not to purchase the phone. I told you phone. not to but purchase you gave that it to phone. Him. Yeah. That's the property that is... No, that's not the line more in the edge. Yeah, I didn't see. Uh, okay, what happened with the line more in the edge? In the springtime, she had the kids call me because she got in a disagreement with me again about Mike. She was complaining about my nephew saying he wasn't doing much either. And I so it made me angry. So I said to her, I said, Monique, Michael's 15 years old. I said, this year he'll be 16. I said, if you go to court, the judge going to ask Michael where he want to stay. I said, and my money ain't banked on you. I said, your kid's been talking about you for a long time to different people. How, I mean, Your Honor, I was surprised. This is like three years Same ago. what type of thing? They, um, they said to me one day, they said, Auntie, Mama didn't got rid of all our stuff, but she didn't get rid of her stuff. What else, man? And they, that they ain't talk about, about nothing. Yeah, they talk like, about, wait a minute, Your Honor. What they else? talk about how she get she moves all the time, how they don't have a, a home. Since I've been dealing with her these four years, homes. she's moved You're five one of the times. Reasons. Okay, she's I'm not. just, look, I'm not <laughs> criticizing. I'm just telling you what they've told different people. You know, I've been a kid kids, before, too. The same Your Honor, you know, I've been a kid before, too. I think we moved five times. Your Honor, she's got but some But we're moving on questions. up. <laughs> she, you moved five times, she's moving on up. <laughs> Nothing wrong with moving five times. Go ahead, though. What okay. else did they say? Anyway, that isn't so, bad. It would be different if her children said mama's on drugs, mama have five different men coming in every week, mama uh, calls Don't us. Don't me. He, she, he, she curses us. She beats us. That's that's the type of thing that would be worthy of any real discussion, ma'am. That stuff you were referring to isn't even worthy of a discussion. Well, sir, I didn't bring it up to them. They brought it up to me. Yeah, I know, but, but any... that's what kids do. He probably couldn't get what they wanted. And that's so they're right, going to come up with whatever they can. And, and if that's auntie. the worst thing they can come up with, she's doing a fine job to me. Tell me about the lawnmower. So anyway, when we got in that argument, she brought my telephone. So then in the spring, she had the kids call me. And they said, Auntie, my mom want to know, can we use your lawnmower in Edger this summer? She wouldn't give it back. What did she so say? the grandmother, she Why? said she'll give it back when she go to court. But the court said they couldn't get in contact what with court? her. What court? 36th District. Where I sat? Yeah. <laughs> You tell me about this, ma'am, the phone and the property. Okay, so as far as the phone, yes, she called and actually was bugging me about 
buying this phone for him. The last time she called me, because at first what she said was true. I did say that I was going to let her get a phone. I had put up a few of his dollars because he was spending his money. So I did put money up for him. But then I decided that I wanted to monitor his uh, internet usage. So I said, you know what? I'm going to get him a phone under my plan so that I will be able to monitor what he uses on the internet. So when she called, I told her, no, I'm not going to do it anymore. I'll wait until I get it. Next thing I know, my son calls me. He has a new number. I'm like, Where's, where'd you get this number from? Oh, my auntie went and bought me a phone. I was heated. So I called his father, told him what happened. And his father and me, we called her and told her, you have to bring that back the same day. But she tries to have him sneak the phone in on me. So the whole reason was for the phone to be sent back. He comes back in with it. When I saw it, I immediately, I broke it. Um, after that was said and done, I called his father again. I told him what was going on. Um, as far as the lawnmower and the edger, yeah. I never asked her for it. Why? Because anytime you borrow anything from her, oh, this cost $400 10 years ago, so it's still worth $400, and if you break it, you're going to have to pay for it. I never asked her to borrow this edger or lawnmower. She loaned it to us. She said, here, I'm going to bring it. She brought it over there, and I told her no because I don't want my son responsible for it because this is what she does. Next thing I know, um, when we get into it and I blocked her, I'm getting sued for this. She never asked for this back. She never asked Where for the lawnmower or edger back. Still? Yes, it's in my godmother's garage. When we moved, I put it over there. She's an acquaintance to my godmother. And I have a statement from my godmother saying that she has, that she herself brought her the trimmer back and that she let her know that her ed, that her uh, lawnmower is Ma'am, there. Ma'am, she said she did it. not request it. Now, Your Honor, I have. Did, did she request it or not? Yes, ma'am? she did. Why would I? That's why? not what you said at first. I did. You I said, said the children nephews, asked you. Right. No, you said now you're saying she requested it. So mm-hmm. you just contradicted yourself. Mm-hmm. Earlier, you told me that your nephews asked for it. And you said, go ahead and take it. That's what you said. I Second, did. I said my nephew said all right. well, she's they not mama responsible asked for she having it, ma'am. She and didn't stop. Want- all right. All right. I You're don't confused. have a reason You're to confused. lie about it. Secondly, ma'am, I ask you if you gave that phone to him because you have no standing to sue because it wasn't yours. It was his because she destroyed his property, not yours. You had given it to him. You had completed that gift. And parents decide what they want to do with their children's property. All right, ma'am, I'm going to... Hold this judgment in abeyance, ma'am, until she gets her property back. Yeah, All right? Honor, this is how my edger came back. The edger was broke when she sent this, sir. She said she was going to get it fixed. Have a good day, ladies. Did. You got my ruling. Get her things back that you might Thank have you, control over. All right? And if not in 30 days, I'm going to grant her a judgment. Good luck. Bye-bye. Thank you. When you lie in court, I would just like to say I do not want to be bothered with you again. You are a liar. You are messy. You need to just leave us alone. Go about your little lonely life and be good. I don't really want a relationship with her. I just wish her kids well and that they don't end up like her. Oh, my kids will be just fine. They'll be doing better than you. Bachelor's degree and no job. Thank you. I don't need one. I'm retired now. (laughs)